We should count ourselves lucky that this place isn't fully up and running right now. That's right. It would have taken us at least twice as long if it was. Ready to roll! Judging by the light show, I'd say this is it. Yes, this is where all that data from Heimdall ended up. It must have been installed recently. It wasn't here two years ago. Are you ready, Ren? But of course. All set up. I'll need your help for this next part, Kia. You got it! What should I do? According to Four Eyes, this terminal uses a system made with the same astral code that Ouroboros uses. It's a five-dimensional spirit code. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to try all the combinations. But with your help, we should be able to skip ahead 81 steps or so. Oh, I get it now! You want me to matricize the exterior of space-time, right? Exactly. Let's get started. Are these kids even speaking our language? The heck is a five-dimensional code? Astral code. Huh. It's the system Ouroboros uses for its communications. Right. And it seems the Kreuz family applied it to their ritual. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. It's because I requested it of the Governor General and a certain source. Oh! I couldn't even sense them coming. Are you? She's from the RMP. I'm Claire Revelt, Railway Military Police. I recognize the two of you, Lloyd Bannings and Ellie McDowell. You must be Estelle Bright, meaning the one with you is Joshua Bright, correct? Who? No, you must have us mixed up with some other people. If it's all the same, I think we'll avoid confirming our identities for now. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to pinpoint this terminal's location. I suppose the Faceless taught you well. What did you say? Wait. I recognize you. A key figure in Ouroboros' 13 Factories project, you led a team of gnomes in Erebonia. But then you betrayed the society to join forces with the Blood and Iron Chancellor, didn't you? Chief of the Black Workshop? <laughs> Precisely. I worked closely with the former Third Anguish of Ouroboros, the Faceless. I even had him test my automated miniature combat shells. He proved very useful in the Hommel project as well. Hard to believe that was 14 years ago. What are you talking about? Does that mean you helped the Professor start the Hundred Days War? Seems like there's still a lot of buried secrets. I'm guessing the data here is the key to dragging the rest of the skeletons out of your closet. Hmm. Yes, actually. If you can break the code, then by all means do whatever you wish with the data. Ah, however, before you can do that, you'll need to face the three of us. The three of you? No way. Oh, <laughs> why, hello 
there, everyone! Long time no see! Huh? <gasps> Why? What are you doing here, Belle? Oh, don't be like that. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Two years or so. And it looks like you're up to your neck in trouble. Just like I knew you'd be. Belle! So you finally come back to Crossbell. But what are you doing with these two? Should you be fighting the Imperial government? Oh? Did you not get the memo? Ouroboros is now allied with Mr. Blood and Iron, or... Perhaps it would be more accurate to say Ouroboros surrendered to him. <laughs> say what? Since when does the society just roll over like that? If that's the case, then what happened in Heimdall? Yes, it was a declaration of the alliance between Chancellor Osborne and Ouroboros. The beginning of the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? That's one heck of a creepy name. Oh, now I get it. So that's what that weird black wave was. Oh, -ho! you could see it even though you lost your powers as a Septarian? My family's little pet project continues to impress. He is not just some project. It's okay, Ellie. It's true that I started out as a project, but that aside, there are some things I'm grateful to Belle for. It's thanks to her that I was able to meet you, Lloyd, and everyone else. Ah, Kia. I'm glad we met too, Kia. You really have grown up, and in such a short time. In any event, I'm surprised to see the Bright family here too. I'm particularly pleased to meet you, number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. The pleasure's all mine. I've been wanting to meet the one who took that twisted professor's spot. I can tell at a glance, you're somehow even more rotten than he was. Oh dear me! Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. Forget about her, Red. Agreed. Right now we need to focus on getting that data. And if they're here to stop us, we won't hesitate to fight back! Ren! Kia! Don't worry. We'll take care of them. <laughs> oh, is that so? We'll just see about that now, won't we? What the? A combat shell, though it's different from the kind the professor used. That black rabbit girl had one of those things too. One might refer to this one as the origin of the other models you've seen. It's been quite some time since I last tested Zoa Balor in battle. I'm very curious to see how it performs against the Divine Blade's daughter, two former Enforcers, and the SSS. Rosenberg dolls! You made the old man's dolls into your minions? Oh, I just couldn't help myself being an alchemist and all. We may both play with dolls, but my tea parties are a little more deadly than yours. Please, both of you. That's enough playing around. We're wasting time. Huh? That emblem? I am the Icy Maiden, Claire Revelt. On my authority as a member of the Iron Bloods, you're all under arrest for illegally accessing a restricted area. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Activate combat links! We will overcome this, no matter what! I trust you'll provide me with some valuable data. 
apprehending fugitives. <laughs> Do try and make this entertaining. Won't let you! Ah! Ready to go! Push through! Cross strike! Ready to go! Arcus, activate! Yes! Huh? Let's go! Huh? It's my turn! Arcus, activate! Hmm! By flowing mana. I've got this. Let's see. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Right. Huh. It ends here! Tom? Rising Sun! <clears throat> Ready to go! Let's do this! I'm impressed. However... Satanic Claw! <laughs> How's that? Back off! It's my turn. Huh? <laughs> Help me out now, would you? Alex, Shaw, Kanan, now, off you go! <laughs> <laughs> So a Balor, strike! It's my turn. Here I go! Take this! <laughs> Moving out! Let's do this! <laughs> Won't let you! <laughs> Help me out now, would you? Alex, Shaw, Kanan, now, off you go! Not a chance! <sighs> Don't give in! Thanks! My turn now! <sighs> <laughs> 
I suppose I should have expected as much, Ellie. Right! Up to you! If you insist. It's time we entertained our guests. Round and round! Go. Let, the, Let party the party begin! begin. Hmm. I do hope you enjoy yourself! I've got this! Swiftly! Shadow formation! Ready to go! There! Gotcha. <laughs> what will you make of this? Behold, the advent of your demise! Perish! Luciferian Art! <laughs> Ready to go! Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Thanks. Moving out. Ha! Let's go. Arcus, activate. Yes. Yeah. Ha! They're off guard. No ha! problem. Moving out. Ha! An opening. Not falter again. Ready? Phantom Ray! Rest in peace. Not a chance. So a Balor strike. Don't give in. Thanks. Now then, dance for me. Yes! Here I go! Take this! Ha! Better than I could have asked for. Disabled the data protection. Access granted. Beginning download of classified data. Oh my. <laughs> I am certainly impressed. After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. But why? Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Complete. We got it. We've secured an escape route. Let's move. Ren, Kia, grab your stuff and start running. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. It was good to see you again, Belle. However, you're the absolute worst. Why, thank you! I wholeheartedly agree. Love you, Ellie. We'll see each other again soon. <laughs> ah, 
That was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight and the rivalries. Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh, touché! <laughs> Perhaps we make a good team after all. Ah, pardon me. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Well, many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care, too. Huh. I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. This one is from... two weeks ago. Sup, Claire? I'm probably about to get crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. It's that picture we took together in Heimdall. I probably should have sent it sooner, but, well, I forgot. Uh, it's from when Reen and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Afterward, we went to go get ice cream together and... This is what really happened in Heimdall? I can't believe this. They sacrificed a girl to make some sword? And then that Schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it? And as a result, the Great Twilight began. And the Curse of the End spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? <laughs> so he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. Hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. The same for your friends, Tita and Agate. And all of those Class 7 guys, too. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is, but it makes me feel a little better. All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. Let's get started. The way things are now, war will be in full swing within two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes. I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started. 
But if supernatural forces are at work, it may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and LeBurl's royal family. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger! Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds pretty sappy to me, but I guess I get the idea. <laughs> That's the right idea for sure, Kia. And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. Ugh, cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> We can definitely do this. We have to, to protect what matters to each of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, it's hard to say what Class 7's next move's going to be. But we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them too.